Hello, welcome to the video for what is volume, the nav mesh bounds volume. Now I do not really have a quick little example for the nav mesh bounds. It is a tool meant for defining where your artificial intelligence players and controllers will be able to go. So we're just going to cover the basics on what the nav mesh bounds is. The nav mesh bounds is a box that really does not have many parameters. To be honest, it simply has its size and shape, as well as the supported agents drop down. We're not going to cover in detail artificial intelligence or how to do automatic navigation. Like I said, this is just to cover what the nav mesh bounds volume does. The nav mesh bounds volume determines where your nav mesh is in order for your artificial intelligence to walk upon. Right now, you can't really see anything. If we were to push our P as in person key, you'll notice we now have a green square, which def is defined by our box itself. If we were to resize our box, move it, change its shape, do basically whatever we wanted to, you'll notice that the box is pretty much going to fit our settings within limitations. There are adjustments and things like that. That's why it doesn't go directly to the edge. If you notice, there's a little bit of a gap on each side. But that's simply some settings that you would adjust when you're actually doing artificial intelligence and using a nav mesh. The point of the nav mesh, nav mesh volumes is to define where your artificial intelligence is going to go. So if we were to, for example, make this smaller and move it over, this is the only place they would be able to go if they are here. If we duplicate and put another one, this would be the definition of where they're allowed to go. Let's say we want to rotate this and we did something like that. Now maybe that was a path in between a door, for example, or we had some shrubbery or scenery that we did not want the character to go into. We would simply have our nav mesh volumes confirm, sorry, conform to where we wanted them to go. And that is it. That is your nav mesh volume. If you go ahead and play, you'll notice nothing shows up. If you're bringing up your console, which is normally the tilde key on a US keyboard, and type in show navigation, it'll show in real time where the navigation is that you've set up for your nav mesh volume. So that's it. Remember, it's the P key to turn on and off so that we can debug it. And then your nav mesh volumes can be set up in any shape or size you want in order to determine where your character is allowed to go. If there are any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below. There may be future tutorials covering artificial intelligence. If so, look for them linked below. If not, this is just a general video on the nav mesh volume itself. And you would have to look into other videos to get more information on how to actually use the nav mesh and artificial intelligence agents.